well check that guy out fish called the special one from monk's pit it's actually the second time i've caught this fella in six trips and both times it's fell to my favorite bottom bait presentation so without further ado i'm going to slip this guy back show you exactly how i tie it Right guys, I'm going to talk you through the rig now that I've been using to catch some of these lovely monk's pit carp on. It's, for all intents and purposes, it's a standard bottom bait presentation, but each component in the rig serves a specific need. So to start with, what I do is I take one of the hybrid all link dumbbell hookers and trim the, just trim the top off of it and neaten up with a pair of scissors so it's got a flat edge. I then take a 10 mil shellfish and black pepper pop up. Again, cut it in half trim it, shape it so it's nice and neat and join the two baits together on a baiting needle. Lastly, all I do is take a pair of scissors and just trim around the edge of the pop-up. All that does is neaten it up so they fit together nicely and join together as one bait. What I do then is take some of the 20 pound camo material, which is my hook, hook link of choice, uh, probably strip three to four inches away just to expose the supple braid. I then tie a loop in the end, which is going to be my hair and slide on the dumbbell and pop-up which I made obviously for a hook bait. The reason I do that first is obviously that's going to dictate how long I want to, to fish the hair, which is actually important. After that, I take a small piece of silicon tubing, thread it down the hook link. My hook of choice is actually a size four curve shank. It's something I've got ultimate confidence in. I've lasted a couple of years. And for me personally, I know when I hook a fish, the chances are I'm going to land it. So I thread the silicon around the shank of the hook and then dictate the length of the hair I want. So for me, I always like my bottom bait or wafter presentations for the hook, bottom of the hook just to touch the bottom of the bait. I then secure the hook with a six turn knotless knot and go back over the knot actually a couple of times. All that does is when you pull everything tight, just secures that knot in place so it can't slide. Next, I measure the length of the rig, which I actually use my tackle safe for because I know it's eight inches. So I always like to use an eight inch rig. That will depend on the fishing situation I'm faced with. So if I'm fishing over hard gravel, I might shorten it to six inch. If I'm fishing in where it's really deep weed and or silt, and I think that my hook link might need sorting out so it presents over the top of it, I might even go to 10 or 12 inch. So for this reason at the moment, I'm using eight inch here. I tie a figure of eight loop knot in the end of that, which is going to attach to my quick change swivel. Next, I thread on a small piece of shrink tube. All that's for is to help the hook turn more aggressively. It's probably four mil of that. And what I do is I, I leave it long enough to cover the actual whipping knot of the, which I've done for the hook, uh, just to protect the knotless knot really. And I also leave enough exposed on the other end so it does help that turning property of the hook. After that, I thread on a small anti-tangle sleeve, which just covers up the quick change swivel so the hook link can't come off. And also it's got great anti-tangle purposes. I then add a small piece of dark matter putty into the center of the hook link. All that's gonna do is that if it falls on any debris, it ensures it's present over the top of any weed or anything and it still sits flush to the lake bed. I'll then steam the shrink tube down, not so aggressive that, you know, it's turned right in, just enough for a slight bend so that when you pull it over your palm of your hand, the hook turns aggressively. I'll steam the rest of the rig then, and you'll notice with this 20 pound camera that I use it, it's actually quite a soft material, but once you steam it, it goes super straight and super strong. You can even hold the hook link up on its own and it'll stand bulk right. Obviously that prevents tangles when it's out there and you cast it out into the lake. So that's the rig I've been using. It's my bottom bait rig of choice. I've got ultimate confidence in it. It's landed me some lovely fish on this session. Give it a go. I'm short more carp on the bank for you too.